Hello everyone, I just want to kind of start off by saying this, ep this episode or this video isn't really going to be like a crazy, you know, funny or anything like that kind of video. Uh, this is a tribute to my stepmother, Beth Mulder, who exactly one year ago today passed away from breast cancer. And... <clears throat> and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I just, I had all this stuff in my head that I really wanted to do for this video. I wanted it to be like awesome and special and, you know, to, to demonstrate just how great and amazing of a woman she was. But <laughs> I, I sat in front of the camera and I, I don't know, I just couldn't get myself to think of anything anymore. Everything I thought of just kind of went out the window. And I just, I kind of just want to sit here and, and just talk to you guys and tell you stories about how great she is and and all that. Just so you know more about her. Um, she's married to my father. Um... Of course, uh, when I was like, I don't know, maybe like around five years old or something like that, I was the little ring bear at their uh, wedding and uh, bearer, not bear, <laughs> little how I met your mother joke there. And uh, I, I can hardly remember it because I was so young, but there's like there's a picture or two and and it's so long ago, She's she's been in my life all my life. You know, so as far back as I can remember, she's always, always been a mother to me in, in every way possible. And growing up, you know, even with my father and, and my stepmom, I, I didn't like them. I really didn't like them. I always wanted to be with my mom, you know, and, and I didn't like them at all. And <laughs> so it was like they were kind of like, like the devils and then my mom's house was like paradise or something like that so every time I had to go over to their house it was just hell and as I got older you know I started to go over to my father's less and less because life happens and it's just it's one of those things that you like you regret kinda because you wanted to spend as much time as possible and I just, I wish I got more time, you know? Just thinking back, it's like, you know, she, she helped raise me, you know? She, she was always there when I needed her. I just didn't know it until I got older and I didn't realize how little time I actually had left. And, you know, it's not fair. It's, it's not, but it's, it happens. You know, I'm not the only one to lose somebody, but it doesn't make it any easier. But she would not want me or anyone else to think of her and then be sad. She, she wanted everyone, you know, Colorful shirts Hawaiian shirts and all and all this other stuff at her funeral, which we did and and you know Everyone just smiling having a good time, you know, and if talking about her it better be good things or, or she would slap you You know, she's She's just she's just amazing in in every way shape or form and I owe so much to her Sorry. And I just, I wish I could pay that back, you know? I am who I am today because of her. And, you know, it's been a year without her and I just, I just, of course, wish she was still here. And just, but, like, 
uh, she was just she was like the life of the party and 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 you'd never know it looking at her or anything you know she had her you know sometimes she was in her wheelchair or, you know before she had the wheelchair she had her walker but she was she was always so you know funny you know she'd always be like you know get out of my way <laughs> but it's like she wasn't being rude about it it was just it was so like funny in the cutest way possible it's just, it's like, get out of my way. <laughs> People would be like, what? And they just like, get out of the way. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, oh my, I, it, it, there's, there's so many things in my head about her that it's just, it's so hard to just like, like think of a memory and then tell you guys about it. But there's, it's just like overloads in my mind of all the things. And, out of all the things, if, if there was anything I had to tell you about her, it's that if you met her, you would never, ever forget her. She would have a lasting impact on you. And and that, I think, is like a very serious thing. You know, if, if you had one conversation with her, it would stick with you for the rest of your life. Because she was always there to help do anything, you know, and... You 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 wouldn't want her to help because you you think you know she should you, she should just relax and and everything and everyone else will do the help but she always wanted to help and she always you know did what she could to help you know she, she wouldn't just she wasn't just all talk she would she would just get out there and do it and help and and that's what made her an amazing woman she she just she just gave and gave and gave and. She wasn't worried about receiving anything. All she cared about is that her kids were growing up happy with great experiences and and as many vacations as they could possibly squeeze out. And, and she's just a really amazing woman. And that's why, of course... I wanted to dedicate the one year since she passed video to her. And I've been thinking about this video for like, well, I think like, you know, I haven't even made this channel that long, but like over a week or two now, which isn't that long considering. And every day I'm thinking like, okay, you know, I want to do this in the video or I want to do this. And then I'm sitting here today and I'm like, I was almost just like not even gonna post a video at all today because I was, I was just thinking about her and I everything else went out the window, you know, good memories, sad things, of course, but you know it's you gotta remember she can't come back, but the things that she left with me will stay with me forever. And I could never thank her enough for that. So, I just, I love her so much. And that's all I kind of really want to get across here. You know, if you haven't gotten that, that vibe yet from this video, it's just that she was incredible. And... There's no one like her. At all. <laughs> I'm sorry to be super like sad and everything in this video. If you, uh, I of course understand if you didn't really want to sit through it. But if you did, thank you very much for listening to my little thing about my stepmother. Because it means, it means more than anything to me of course that you listen or anything like that, but especially about a woman that is leaving such a massive impact to this world. So, <laughs> thank you, of course, for watching. And and just because you decided to sit through this, what might have brought, brought down your day, maybe? I don't know if, if this made you sad a little bit. I'm sorry if it did. Just remember, she wouldn't want that. She would, she would want me happy right now, and I am happy that you know she's no longer hurting or anything from her breast cancer I just 
you know, it's just tears because I miss her. And I wish I could have, of course, more time with her, more conversations, her help to guide me, you know. But she made me strong, so I'm thankful for that. And I'm hoping she'll be proud of me in the end. And I know because she has told me that she is proud of me. So that's all I really needed. And I'll give you guys, just because you've made it through this far, and maybe I'll make you happy or whatever, I'll give you a random fact of the day. An average person visits a toilet up to 2,500 times per year. That's six to eight times a day. Well, ain't that shitty. But I'm... <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you so much, like so much, for watching this video. Just know she was an amazing woman. And I'm sorry you did not have the opportunity to meet her if you didn't. Ilmar, out.